today from r slash let's not meet i was 23 years old female at the time and a student i was living alone in a small apartment complex not too far away from my school i never liked living alone i was also afraid of the dark however always felt safe in my little apartment it only had one way to get in and you needed to unlock two doors to get inside the main front door to the building and the door to my apartment. I also used to have a few lights on, even at night, and usually my laptop was playing some movie until I fell asleep. I always locked my door, except this one time. One weekend I was out drinking with my friends, and I was going back home, and I ended up sharing a taxi with a random guy that was going to the same area as me. We both jumped out of the taxi outside my place and talked for a little while. He was about the same age as me, and said he was also a student. He walked me to my front door, and we said goodnight, and I went inside. Some weeks, maybe a month later, I decided to stay home that weekend. I was just watching some series in bed until I fell asleep. Suddenly, I woke up to a voice. I couldn't really hear what the voice was saying, but I could hear a man talking. I opened my eyes. The room was dark, but I could see a shadow standing in the doorway to my bedroom. I froze. My adrenaline started pumping. I couldn't scream. I just kept staring at the figure. I thought I must be dreaming. This has to be a nightmare. But I understood quickly my biggest fear had come true. He stopped talking, and I asked quietly, Who are you? He took a step closer and whispered, don't you remember me? He was clearly drunk, but I suddenly could see it was the same guy I shared a taxi with some weeks ago. I felt some weird feeling of relief that I recognized him, but at the same time, I was horrified. My thoughts started spinning. What did he want? Why was he here? I didn't know what to do. This was no place to run or hide. My first thought was to stay calm, so I just asked quietly what he was doing here. I was thinking about you, he said, and continued. I turned off your lights and closed your laptop. He smiled. I kept looking at him. I was still in my bed, still didn't know what to do. I felt sick of the thought of him walking around my apartment while I was sleeping, but decided that I will continue to stay calm. I asked him how he got into my building. He said that he had been using my doorbell, but I didn't open, so he tried my neighbor's doorbell, and someone opened up for him. He also went into my neighbor's apartment, but realized it wasn't mine. Then he saw my name at the door and went in. I think he could see the fear in my eyes. He suddenly turned around and said, I think I should go. He stumbled out and I went after him. Right before he left, he said, you should really lock your door. I shut the door in his face and locked it. I went back to bed and cried. I didn't sleep for the rest of the night. I never called the police, but I told my friends the next day. The following month, someone would ring my doorbell every now and then in the middle of the night. I would get an anxiety attack every time. I never opened up, but I had a feeling it could be him. I never saw the guy again. I'm so relieved nothing happened that night, and from this day, I always double check that I have locked, and I also removed my name from the door. So to this guy, let's not meet again.